Welcome! You're watching the Thrift Store on Dad for the day. I'll be serving as your grand marshal for this petty pinching parade of champions. Celebrating my 25th birthday by doing what we do best. Bringing Hollywood home on a budget with the best of the best. And it all starts right now. If you were among the countless Black Friday warriors who conquered hallowed battlegrounds such as Walmart, Target, Best Buy, even Kmart, which around these parts these days is kind of like finding a needle in a haystack, wherever. You probably might have noticed other Black Friday shoppers out there, some of them bruised, some of them maybe even bloodied, but most of them in tears over their failure to collect one of the hottest kitchen appliances and holiday gifts on the market. The Air Fryer. Hey, you would cry too if it happened to you, right? Chances are it probably did. Maybe that's because fate stepped in and told you you weren't ready for an air fryer yet because you probably didn't have an air fryer cookbook to begin with. Well, get ready to dry and fry those tears because one of TSR's longtime petty pitching champions, America's Test Kitchen, is on the case with their air fryer perfection cookbook, which I picked up for a buck ninety nine from Value Village in Hawthorne. This, by the way, is the first of two Air Fire Perfection cookbooks they have. This has 75 recipes. The next one up, their Ultimate Air Fire Perfection cookbook, has 185. Best believe I'm seeking that one out. In any event, from crispy fries and juicy steaks to perfect vegetables, this book will tell you what to cook and how to get the best results in your air fryer, which also include fast weeknight friendly meals, moist, not dry fish, Super crunchy chops and freeze and fried chicken nuggets. You can even nail store bought frozen foods if you have the right air fryer, which at the time this was published was from Philips. And oddly enough, it's the model that was recommended also by, of all people, Gordon Ramsay. The Philips Turbo Star Air Fryer Advanced Digital, priced at 250 bucks, but nearly every performance factor here. Three stars, cooking, ease of use, cleanup, size, and safety. Speaking of, Seth Ramsey, if you don't want your kitchen to turn into Hell's Kitchen come summertime, an air fryer is probably the ideal solution. You don't have to turn your whole oven on to heat up the whole house, thereby saving money on your electric bill and keeping cool during those hot summer months. There's a lot going for an air fryer, huh? No one is one of the hottest kitchen appliances on the market thereby making it an ideal holiday gift for the cook in your life, or even for yourself. For the record, they now recommend the Instant 6 Quart 7-in-1 Vortex Plus Air Fryer. I'll leave Lisa McManus' equipment review down below in the description for you to check out, but this is their Air Fryer buying guide here, and as a whole, Air Fryer 101, which is the beginning of this book, tells you about the anatomy of the Air Fryer, what components go into making one, the features you want to be on the lookout for when shopping for an air fryer, and when you pick it up, how to make the most of it. Additionally, for all those air fryer novices out there, we have seven simple uses for an air fryer, which is basically toasting and roasting. Roast garlic, roast peppers, make croutons, toast nuts and seeds, burger or sandwich buns, bake cookies, and even make crispy salads. If you think you're ready to fry high afterwards, then let's get started. For the record, never under any circumstances actually fry high. Cooking stone is no way to cook in a kitchen. There are four food chapters in here, and I'm going to be highlighting one from each chapter. So let's get started. One recipe from each chapter. We begin with unstuffed chicken breast with these own mayonnaise, which serves two. That'll take you 13 minutes to cook and 40 minutes to whip up in total. Every recipe, by the way, comes with this writer's recipe work section, which is missing critical to ATK's cookbooks. This summarizes the tasty and testy process, so this recipe will work for you the first time. That is, again, if you have the white air fryer. Either the Philips air fryer or the Instant Vortex air fryer. By the way, made from the same manufacturer that also makes their favorite multi-cooker, which shall forever be known as the Instant Pot. This is an ideal date night candidate. Not only does it serve two, but it's surprisingly elegant. It's kind of like chicken cordon bleu. Well, trading up the Swiss cheese for Gruyere. From the outside in. You know me, any recipe that's an ideal date night candidate gets a thumbs up for me, no matter what cookbook it's in. 
Up next, we have here roasted boneless short ribs with red pepper relish. That serves an ideal family of four. 18 minutes to cook, 35 minutes to make in total. I distinctly remember Christopher Kimball saying on a season 8 episode of ATK that boneless short ribs just might be nature's most nearly perfect food. Well, chicken is an ideal candidate for me, but few people will disagree with short ribs. In terms of seafood, and to make a point that you can rip up a complete meal in an air fryer from start to finish, we have here bacon wrapped scallops with spinach, fennel, and raspberry salad. That serves for 12 minutes to cook, 50 minutes to make in all. It's been my experience that most recipes wrapped in bacon, as long as they're practical going in, well, they're pretty much non-debatable in terms of your enjoyment. Finally, we have here some rather elegant looking french fries. Parmigiano, Reggiano, rosemary, and black pepper french fries. Cacio e pepe taters, anyone? That serves two to four, and I'll take you 28 minutes to cook and an hour to whip up. All air fryers tested for this cookbook were judged based upon their performance, ease of use, and cleanup. And there are plenty more air fryers to be on the lookout for in that buying guide that I just showed you. But anyway, the photographs look sumptuous as always, the photograph for each recipe, which gets a thumbs up from me. The ingredients and the recipe instructions here, all accessible to follow. So in summation, it's another test kitchen handbook that would come in rather handy. And for us, literally, because this is actually the first specialty cookware-based cookbook that can actually serve some legitimate purpose in here. We got an air fryer at the house. I'll show you what that is in just a moment. Sadly, it's not an air fryer I think they recommend. In any event, you'll be amazed at what you can air fry. What can you make in an air fryer? Plenty. And it's good. In summary, the more you use this book, the more reasons you'll find to give this small but mighty appliance. A prime position on your kitchen counter. Sweet and smoky pork tenderloin with roasted butternut straws. Southwestern beef hand pies. Subs, sliders, wraps, tacos. The list goes on. An air fryer can be a hell of a lot more useful than you might think. It retails for $27.99 in the U.S. and $32.99 in Canada. And it gets 5 out of 5 claps. Before we wrap this up, why don't we go ahead and show you the air fryer we have at home. This is the Eagle Star AIGO Star 7-in-1 4.2 quart 1500 watt digital air fryer with viewing window, digital timer and temperature controls, one touch preset buttons, it's a non-stick drawer style model with a non-stick basket, oilless. It was mailed to us for Christmas by our Aunt Ada. And it just sits here in presentation because, well, Mother never uses it. She's not one for convenience products. She's perfectly happy with her pots and pans and big old stove. She doesn't go for anything that's like infomercial. So, hey, I tried to buy out a magic bullet one time and she just gave it to my aunt. So what the heck is she going to do with this? I think we probably should give it a test run and pair it up with ATK's Air Fire Perfection book to see if it really holds up well or if it really deserves to sit in storage. In many cases, it's not a party until somebody wants to fry. With this cookbook and a cookware to match, you'll definitely want to fry. And I bet you'll be feeling lighter than air with all the kudos you're gonna get. For watching. Check out more TSR by clicking on another awesome review like this one, top left, and be sure to subscribe by clicking top right. Until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side.